Hey, so I'm back with another Let's Play The Sims while I talk about some random subject, and that subject today is on everyone in the Sims community Twitter feeds, the new Eco Lifestyle Expansion Pack that's been announced. So, quick life update that nobody asked for. <laughs> I know it's been a while, but my workplace has reopened like two weeks ago, so I've just been occupied with that and also I've been playing Far Cry 4 and 5 non-stop and I think I have a problem but that is not the point uh why did nobody tell me to give the Far Cry series a chance before I stumbled upon a sale on the PS4 like it is so good I can't stop playing it anyway what I'm actually here to do is to talk about Eco lifestyle. And <laughs> I have a lot of pent up emotions about this and <laughs> I want <laughs> I wanted to save it specifically for this video because I literally just watched the trailer. And let's <laughs> let's break this down. It's a short trailer, but there's just so much to unpack here. Um first of all <laughs> First of all, who gave the okay for there to be a godforsaken worm farm thing? I need <laughs> I need to know. I know that y'all saw that fat ass larva about as thick as my forearm. I can't. But um no. Let's let's be organized about this. Let me let me look at my notes here. Um <laughs> so what happened was Everyone was on the edge of their seats for maybe a week or two because there was a false leak from a Target employee that was the, about there being like a, a country living expansion pack title in their inventory. And we were all suckered into believing it because that's what happened with university, right? There was a leak by a Target employee and it happened to be true. So we were all pretty psyched about that, myself included, because I loved Harvest Moon growing up. I love Stardew Valley and combining those game aspects with The Sims. To me, that would have been amazing. But in the end, it was confirmed false. And while there was no country living expansion pack, EA instead announced to release um, the release of their eco lifestyle pack. So now this eco living concept popped up a couple a couple of times in those surveys that EA sent out to the community asking what we would like to see in the future and all that and while I personally don't remember seeing or voting for any eco type of thing people are saying that it was there but as an option for a stuff pack or a game pack so definitely not an expansion pack so why why do they decide to make this into an expansion pack? I mean, besides, you know, the cash grab aspect of it, from the trailer, look, nothing really stood out or sold me anything. Yes, there's like a whole new world. It's in a really bad like state in the beginning. And you basically have to engage in different activities in order to help clean up the world, provide sustenance and all that. Then the world gets all pretty and, you know, thriving, you know, groundbreaking. Is is it a bad idea? No, it's not. Not at all. It's on with the times, the current state of affairs of the world right now. It's all about eco-friendliness and s sustainability. It can introduce some new cute activities for your sims, like candle making, using some new machines to reuse materials and create new stuff from them. But... You know, from what I'm looking at, just from the trailer, it really seems just on par with any other game pack. I don't see in any way, shape, or form how this can be on the same level of game-changing expansion packs such as Seasons or Cats and Dogs. Like, just because they threw in a whole new world, you know? Like, I, I feel like after... Um, get famous they're really just packaging in these game packs creating a new world for them and then marketing them as expansion packs without much new gameplay aspects to support it and when you do that it's really just a one-time playthrough and people get quickly bored of it because there isn't much else to explore after that one playthrough and it's not relevant or impactful enough to use in a regular gameplay 
for example, seasons is something that's so well done with the holidays, the weather system, calendars, because it's something that just changed our gaming dynamics so much and it made our stories seem just so much more fleshed out with all of its little details. On the other side of the coin, we have Get Famous, for example, and once you're able to make your sim, your sim famous and make it to the top ones, you don't really feel like doing it again with any other sim. It's not interesting or exciting anymore. People have that critique also with Discover University as well, but I personally enjoyed this pack and I wouldn't compare it to Get Famous, but, you know, regardless. So you see now what people are arguing about because they're essentially selling a very probable one-time experience for $40. Like, how many times are you going to want to clean up and save the town before you get bored of it? Once or twice? Unless they're, implement you're, they're implementing other gameplay aspects that we're not seeing in the trailer, which, you know, may or may not make it worth it, but, like, I'm seriously doubting it at this point. And I don't like to be overly critical or to complain, but this isn't an indie gaming company with limited resources. This is a big name company that's had pretty much of a, a monopoly on the life simulation genre for 20 years now. And they've shown in previous titles that they definitely can do better. They just don't want to. And the community is so big and the main things that players want, they aren't hard to notice when you log on to Twitter, for example. You know, baby overhauls, people don't want the, baby, the babies to be objects anymore. People want a generations type of thing. So more activities with teens and elders, maybe better schools, etc. I don't see why these smaller things couldn't be included in updates over the course of time. Because... It's these smaller basic things that people really want to deepen their gameplay experience. You don't have to throw in a bunch of these uh, fancy packs, you know, like get famous or, you know, c clean up the, the, the ecosystem. You don't have to do all that if you throw in enough of the gaming aspects of it. And if you look at the comments, people are bringing up peril lives more and more. And I previously made a video talking about that game if you want to check it out. But that's such an interesting thing to me. Not particularly good or bad. Just, well, we'll see when the time comes, won't we? Um, <laughs> I just really think that um, people are gonna, you know, jump ship <laughs> when Paralives is actually released or... The, the date is announced of its release. So that's just my opinion. But, you know, let's see what's going to happen. Um, all right. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.